hey welcome or welcome back to my channel nice to have you today i'm going to show you how i made this cute wristlet this phone with wristlet this is a free pattern it will be linked in the description let's begin iron your interfacing to the corresponding pieces the instructions to make this bag will also be in the pattern along with a come along with a pattern first you will cut out a two inch by six inch piece of fabric you will fold it in half lengthwise and press open and fold the long edges in towards the crease you just created then you will fold this again and press in half fold this again in half and press this piece will be used to make your zipper ends and your strap tab you will now take this piece of fabric and you will measure and cut four one inch pieces and one two inch piece you will need two zippers seven inches long make sure the edges are cut straight Attach the zipper ends and sew across. Sew around all four edges of the strap tab and place it through a D ring and stitch across the short edge. Find the center of your zipper and the center of one pocket lining piece and align the, the top edges. Place one exterior pocket piece over the zipper and the lining piece making a sandwich. Clip our pin in place and take the steer sewing machine and stitch across the top edge as shown in the video. After sewing on the zipper, you will pull the exterior and lining pieces away from the zip, placing them wrong sides together. Sew across the top edge close to the zipper using a 1 8 seam allowance. After this, you will press your stitches to set them. Place a second lining piece right side up on your work surface. Then place the zipper piece that you just sewn together right sides up over this, aligning the top edge. Place the top exterior piece right sides down, clip and stitch in place. After you've completed that, you will top stitch close to the zipper. Align the bottom curved edge of all three layers. This will require you to bend your zipper a little bit so that all the edges could align. Pin or clip. Then take this to your sewing machine and sew around the curve. 
using a basting stitch. Mark 5 eighths of an inch down from the top left side edge of your exterior pocket piece and you will place the D-ring tab in that position facing inwards and sew across using a basting stitch. Now fold one of your large lining pieces, place your zipper right sides up with a zipper pull to the left. Place one exterior piece right sides down over this, creating a sandwich. Clip or pin in place. Take this to your sewing machine and sew across the top edge. Again, you will pull the lining and exterior pieces wrong sides together away from the zipper and you will stitch across close to the zipper. Place the second main pocket lining right sides up and place the small pocket section right sides down over it and sew across to attach the two. Now open the large, the main pocket zipper halfway. Mark a four inch opening on the lining piece at the curved bottom. This will be used to turn your fabric after you turn your bag right sides out after you've completed stitching around it. Pull the lining pieces together, right sides together and clip. Then you will pull the exterior pieces right sides together and clip as well. Sew across the opening using a basting stitch, which is a lar the largest stitch on your sewing machine. And after clipping the exterior together, you will sew around the entire bag, the rest of the bag, using a quarter inch seam allowance with a regular stitch length. Remember to make sure that your D-ring tab is on the inside so that you can sew it correctly. After you've completed sewing around the bag, you will pull your bag through the opening, right sides out, sew the opening closed, stuff the lining back into your bag and you're finished. I will place two links on how to make your wristlet strap in the description. 
Thank you for watching my other videos. Give this video a like and see you in the next one.